And the way you did that again is you just uh, pressed clear, then you went up and you pressed procedure and then did your procedure. Uh, well, I, I, I brought up procedure, Yeah. right? And then I went to select approach yeah. and then it preloads for what of was course. the that Vernon Airport. Sense. Then I hit clear and then I brought it up with the big knob to type in the airport I wanted the new approach for. And then as soon as I load that approach into Kelowna, it's gonna wipe out the old one from Vernon that we were using. So we only wanna do that when we've been cleared for the approach. That makes sense. And it just saves you from going into the flight plan, deleting and continuing on like that. Okay, so there's our top of descent for Leonard. So again, a review, we're shooting the RNAV GNSS Zulu, runway 16 into Kelowna. The safe altitude doesn't apply. The approach course is 159 degrees. Minimum altitude via TAT V. It's 4,200 feet. Landing distance available, 7,700. Minimum sector altitude is 8,800, but we're technically being vectored at 8,000. And we're going to be at 8,000 from Leonard down to Whitman. Whitman is the initial approach waypoint. We're going to maintain um, what is 5,900 between Leonard and Whitman. And at that point, with the autopilot armed in approach mode, which we have still yet to activate, it will be looking for the glide path, capture the glide path. All we have to do is make sure when the glide path comes alive, we drop flaps 50. Yeah. And then when the glide path is captured, we bring the power back to about 20, 25, 30%, depending on what speed we want to shoot the approach at. And then, yeah, we're going to go down to our minimums of 2,281. Our missed approach, we will not exceed 210 knots till Vepto, climbing track 159 to Uktus, climbing right turn track 195 to Vepto, and then climb track 227 to 9000 to Misser as required shuttle climb. And our chart effective dates are good for the 22nd of April, 2021. That's good. And we got the radio frequencies all set up. Good. And we could use top of descent for Lanyard. Yep, if you want to arm the vertical nav profile to bring you down from 8,000 to 5,900, which is what's dictated on the flight plan yeah. here, you can do that. So if you want, it says our top of descent is coming up, feel free to activate vertical nav mode. Also, if we were in this scenario actually filed, we would have been cleared for the approach as well, right. and I would have activated approach mode on the autopilot. So I think we should do both of those now to form good habits. Okay, that makes sense. And uh, so for the VNAV, um, at uh, Whitman, Lanyard is 8,000. Um, and this top of descent, yeah, is to uh, is to Whitman, 5,900. Correct. Which so, is what we'll remain at to shoot the approach. Yeah. So we we will go then to 5,900. Yeah. And we will press very now, and we'll press approach. You got and it. And it'll take over. Yep, and then if you look at your autopilot scoreboard, you got the GPS, autopilot, yaw dampener, altitude select 8,000, vertical path, taking you down to 5,900 with a glide path, with it's still searching for the glide path. Yes. And then it's the GPS is still in terminal mode. Once we pass Whitman, we're going to watch terminal mode, switch to approach mode, and it's going to say LPV in our HSI there. That makes and sense. that gives us the ability to shoot the minimums of 2,281 into Kelowna. And right now we are on still on center, so that's okay. Yeah, and okay. Kelowna knows we're coming because I called them. In Whiskey, the Oscar, Kilo, Revelstoke, altimeter 3048. Revelstoke, altimeter 3048. Thank you, sir. Whiskey, Oscar, Kilo. Contra So I usually press the VNAV button when enunciated, but then you only have a minute left. Yeah, I like pressing it early because okay. I know it's coming. Okay, no, that's yeah. good. Thanks for more relaxed flying. So you can press VNAV any time once you're set up. Yep. Yeah. And then anytime you activate any modes on the autopilot, always go back up and review your autopilot scoreboard. Right here. Yeah. Uh, active and coming.
You know, it's not often that you need air conditioning in our climate, but I understand that you, it's really hard to sell a plane like this unless you have air. Does that make sense? Cause the uh, market, especially to the American market, yeah. Because the market's so big down there, right? It is, yeah. And it does work really well, especially if you use recirculation mode on the ground. Oh, yeah. While you're taxing around. But the problem with recirculation mode is you can't use it in the air. Yeah, because of carbon monoxide. Correct. On course 3176. This must have a built-in carbon dioxide detector. It does, yeah. And it's Two gone off for me on when uh, I was flying a series around in Seven. forest fires. Two. Forest fire smoke, should I say. And if they approve it, are we going to do the, the mist and then come over the lake? Yep. Oh, that's cool. We're going to simulate as if we're going down using the Kelowna approach and then breaking off our IFR, visual, remaining visual, and flying down the Okanagan Lake into Vernon. It gets you a lot lower, which is 872 feet above the ground as opposed to the Vernon approaches, which are as low as 1,900 and some odd. Right. Vertical track. There we go. Okay. And center, it's SR-22 Gulf X-ray, X-ray Juliet. We're uh, direct Leonard. We're about to begin our descent down to 5,900. X-ray, X-ray Juliet, Roger. There's a 172, about two to two and a half miles to the south, southeast of Leaner. They're northbound, showing 5,600, unverified. Traffic on TCAS for X-ray, X-ray Juliet. Sure. Just a, could you take a picture of that? Sure. That's the only picture I've seen of Vernon from up here. Uh, Pasco 7006, <laughs> maneuver your discretion for runway 09 at Kamloops, uh, that's the preferred Thank you. Runway. And uh, there's the rise up in there. That's where you're that, trying to get one with your house. That road that goes up. X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, contact Kelowna Tower, 1196. X-ray, X-ray, Juliet. Okay, we'll go to COM2. And if you want, you can take over. Actually, here, I'll make the call, just to make sure we're... Kelowna Tower, it's SR-22, Gulf X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, in the descent, 7,100 to 5,900, direct Whitman, for the RNAV Zulu runway 16 simulated. Gulf X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, Kelowna Tower, hello again. And uh, I'll get you a new squat code so I can actually operate with the strip that works because the one the center gave you is not going to work for me. Uh, so squat 2414. 2414 for X ray Romeo Julian. Okay. Oh, X ray Romeo, X ray, X ray Julian. 2414, in. You got the CD advisory here. Scheduler, check fuel. We're good on. Well, we can balance it if you want. And mixture rich. So remember, as we cross Whitman, it's the initial waypoint, and we're going to watch GPS change from terminal into approach mode, and it should list LPB. Wow, is it stunning. You'll have to come back here when it's uh, when the wineries are all open. I can't we'll, wait. We'll do another session. I agree. Yeah, and we'll go uh, fly and see all the wineries down to uh, Penticton there. And yeah, we'll need some power in. You can see. Actually, actually, actually Julian, I've got you there. Identified 6,000 feet uh, and altimeter 3040. Simulated approach is approved. Maintain VFR at all times and report. Uh, are you going to shoot a mist and then head back up? Uh, no, we're going to break it off, and then we'll make the right turn uh, at about a thousand feet over either the town of Kelowna or in the valley there, and follow the Okanagan back to Vernon. We'll simulate it, maintain VFR at all times. Three zero four zero for extra extra do that. Extra extra do it. That sounds good. You bet. And uh, just let me know when you're ready to uh, start the break off back to the north over the thousand. Appreciate it, sir. So we're not going to do a mist. 
Make sure nope. that we're going to pretend like we're going down to the minimum yeah. as if we're using this approach to get into Vernon yeah. when it's like 2,000 feet or 1,500 yeah. feet overcast. I, I follow that, but I thought we were going to go a little and over Make and control the image, avoid the terrain. Oh, that was me. Yes, think, we're going to avoid the terrain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I just had a right turn over this, no worries, sir, the have city have of Corona, or we're going to follow that valley, the early one. Okay. But I think we'll probably go past the airport a little bit. Okay. Depends what are you going to accommodate. So, moving back. Yeah, we're at a good power setting. We're waiting for the glide path to come alive, which yeah. it just has. Thanks for your traffic, uh, Piper, northbound, east of the lakes, currently mid Wood Lake now, 4,900 feet. We'll pass off your left. Okay, check your marks, and we got traffic on TCAS for X-ray, X-ray, Julia. Remember Delta Golf, Ter? So you usually put flaps down, down the right where you see the glide Remember filter. Delta Golf, yes, yeah, you northbound, that east of the lakes. That way you're also studying to see if the glide path is coming miles. alive. On which the is important to know. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea because I've, Let me know when you get them I was taught to pull in about halfway, but this gives Copy. you uh, more information as it's descending. And you study it. Yeah. You don't just wait. Oh, it's already alive. Oh, yeah. it's already one dot above. You might. Yeah. You're studying it for it to come alive. Right. And the flap speed is safe, so why not? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you can hold with 50%. Yeah. And here we go. Glide path captured. Now this should be about 30%, I think. If we were planning to an approach and we wanted to have two set, yeah, 100% flaps, we'd be dialing it back. Um, well, again, it, 